Good one. Monday morning, amigos. Dr. Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com in Los Angeles, California. Read an article here, BBC, I believe. BBC, yes, of course. How, how tracking menstrual cycles helps women in sport. They make it sound really complicated. It's not. What they found, they did a survey and they found that a lot of elite athletes, especially talking about tennis players here, um, have trouble or lose matches or get injured uh, during certain periods, times of, during their period. Uh, and I don't doubt it. Uh, the reason is that uh, the week before onset of bleeding, that is before the first day of bleeding, day one, the whole week before that, the body, the female body that has ovulated is relieving itself of unwanted uh, endometrium, that's the lining on the uterus, that is the nur nurturing bed for a fertilized embryo, which doesn't happen. So it gets rid of it during that week. And then uh, day one, bleeding, it starts a two-week process, three-week process of building that back up again. So that's the cycle. So during that week before, everything must be moving. So a lot of people get into trouble because they're not exercising. That contributes. And uh, being overweight also contributes because it slows down circulation. But here, obviously, for elite athletes, that's not it. So it has to be emotions. If emotions get stuck in the future or the past, uh, then things aren't moving in the body, period. So, you know, emotions are simply information coming from your body about what's going on in the inside of your body, of a, a woman's body, well, and a man's body too. So, um, for example, anger, I hear people say, oh, you, you shouldn't feel anger. Anger is bad. We have to get rid of bad. We have to get rid of anger because it's bad. No, it's not bad. It's there to tell us to defend ourselves. That's what anger is there for. It's usually based on fear. So what are you afraid of? And why do you and take some action to defend yourself? That's what uh, my body tells me when I'm angry. So you can't deny it. You can't say, well, I, I'm not a good person if I feel anger. Or any other emotion. If you're holding back tears because you've lost something, a cry, okay, that can affect the period. Uh, holding back joy, refusing to laugh, refusing to let go, refusing to have fun, uh, that can also slow down things and make a woman susceptible uh, to injury uh, or illness during that week before the period. Once it starts, then um, then a period of uh, building grows up. Now, a woman can get so low in body fat that she loses her period completely, and a lot of lead athletes do that, especially bodybuilders, because they have to get cut down. And they find when they do that, when they, find, when they lose their period, nothing else is wrong. They're fine. They're in great health. In fact, they've never been in better health in their whole lives than when they lose their periods. Isn't that amazing? Some people would panic. Oh, I lost my period. People tell you, doctors, doctors will tell you. Oh, no, you have to be ovulating. Uh, you have to be, yes, otherwise you need to eat more. You don't have to. Uh, you eat more when you want to get pregnant. So that's the natural um, contraception, contraceptive method, is for a woman to get uh, down below that body fat percentage. Maybe it's 12% or 10% or less for a woman. And she loses her period. Anyway, <laughs> whether you have a period or not, uh, or you're a woman or not, uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you tomorrow.